Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna show you 27 tricks that you guys used in game. Why 27 you might ask? Well, according to the YouTube analytics, you guys like numbers in thumbnails. So here are 27 insane tricks. Did you know that the Gecko ultimate can stop the race ultimate? So when you use the Gecko ulti and you suddenly hear race, go back to yourself and save your own body. Just like the enemy of soy. In the end, Gecko peaked and died anyway, but look at this, what the heck? This mechanic is very cool. While we're on Ascent, here's a very nice peek you can use with Neon. At the start of the round, simply stand against the barrier, run and do your dash immediately. If the enemies are peeking over here, there's no way that they expect you peeking so fast and easy kills for you. Now look at this clip. Yeah, not really a trick, but a tip for all the Sage players, don't play your wall like this. Now let's do something funny. In this clip, Race will get an ace, but King Mungas Valorant is set to German. Listen. <laughs> So my question to you, before Race gets the ace, what's the translation of ace to German? It's actually extremely funny, but before I'm gonna tell it to you, I first want to give you guys a quick tip. Are you one of those players that is begging to their teammates to drop their skins at the start of the round? All because you don't have enough money to buy skins? Well, if this sounds relatable, then I might have something for you, and it's the sponsor of this video, Buff.game. With Buff, you're able to get some Riot points completely for free. This is how it works. Step 1, you download the app. Step 2, you let it run on the background while playing your favorite games. And that's it, you basically don't have to do anything at all because you're gaming anyway, right? By doing this you will earn buff points and those points you can spend in the marketplace to buy tons of things. Like Valorant gift cards, Steam gift cards or even gaming hardware. There are also other things you could do to earn points like doing challenges, spin on the wheel or leveling up and complete the buff rewards track. Some games buff supports are Valorant, League of Legends, Counter Strike, it's built on the trusted Overwolf platform so it's safe to use. And of course it doesn't slow down your PC. You could also do other things on this app like recording your highlights, edit them and share it on the platform. So what I would say just try it out with the link in the description it's completely free and this month you will earn 100 free bonus points so try it out today and now let's continue the video so back to the ace of king monga this is the translation of ace in german yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. Back to the tricks. Did you know that you can wallbang through this wall over there? You need a high penetrative gun like an Odin or a Guardian, but when you got one, it's very overpowered in combination with the Cypher Trap, for example. If you get an enemy like this, they will surely be tilted. Careful now. But this one was even more surprising to me. Did you know that you can wallbang through the screens? What you have to do is stand a little higher than on the ground on these boxes, for example. Then ping where you want to shoot and then shoot through the screens. It's funny that I've been playing this game for over two years, but never knew this. I love this fuck. Hey, look at that gun, guys. I'm definitely gonna use this one. And while we're on icebox, look at this clip. A good sneaky red trick, but I got one tip though. The reason why Astro Nim walls behind him, of course, is so the enemies can hear it and they don't expect anyone in tube. But you also see the flaw of this, right? You can't really go back. So here's an upgraded version from RH Kels that in my opinion is a little bit better. Nice, but this is not the best one. Normally when you wall the enemy standing in mid, we'll see a small part of your wall sticking outside of the tube. And to fix this, you need to prep your wall before the round, place it so only just the corner comes out of the tube, and now you got an ultimate red play. Just don't use it more than twice in a game, because then the enemies expect it. On Fracture, if you take the zip line and you see an enemy crossing the zip line on the other side, you should never take the zip line back. Because when you take the zip line back, the enemy can just wait for you and he will have way more advantage. It's a rare situation, but this happened in the game of Axia. Of course he's greedy for the kill so he went back. I bet 99% of you would do this. <laughs> and it worked out and this is not all but in the end he even got the ace. Trying to get into you. Not the best example, but if you ever cross someone on the zip line, don't go back. Trick shot time, we actually only got one this time sadly. And it's more lucky shot than a trick shot, but still satisfying. Now it's time for a simple trick. With Brimstone, a lot of people will use their ultimate for the post plant or the pre plant. Instead of that, you can also use his ultimate for places where enemies will have a hard time getting out of. A perfect example is Vent Room. Look at this clip. What? I have also no idea why four enemies were standing in Vent Room, but hey, four kills easy peasy. It's time for a Cypher Tricky. On Haven, place your tripwire in Garage, your cam on this wall over here, and then stand in window and throw your cage onto the ledge. Very easy, right? You just wait till the enemies are pushing and then activate your cage and peek them. This is how it will look like. Well played, Blink Fox. Wow, my eyes are down. Cage triggered. 
No hard feeling. Nice, but as you might have noticed, Blink Fox's camera got destroyed instantly. That's why I prefer a camera on the other side of the wall, so it's harder for the enemies to spot. You can use that cipher knowledge on every map. A while ago, I showed that the Gecko Flash will only flash the real Yoru and not the clone. And now, finally, we can see this mechanic in action. Wait. I still think Riot Games should fix this. What's your opinion? Wait, I can actually predict your opinion. Yoru mains will say, change it Riot Games, change it. And Gecko mains will say, don't change it, we need it. Anyway, you can smoke platforms on Fracture. Easy one way for you. Red players, I know you're watching, so here are a few red spots that not a lot of people are using. First one is over here on Icebox. I don't see a lot of people standing on top of the vending machine. So I guess there's a high chance that the enemies won't check it. Is there always one enemy flanking when you are pushing on B? Then you can stand on this spot to get that enemy. Honestly, I've never seen someone chilling over here. But it can be effective in specific situations. No one enemy. And this red spot I showed in last tips and tricks episode. And literally one day after I upload that video, I already got a clip from someone using it. So my apologies if they got you like this. No more. I would rage too, Tyrone. It's been a while since I've seen someone using this next trick, but with race, if you want to defuse the spike, you could use your ultimate and then defuse it. There's a chance that the enemies will run away because they hear your ulti, but in fact, you're just a sneaky peeky red player. No, no, no. Tip though, even though you're using this red play, look to watch where you think the enemy can come from, not towards the wall. But you got it. About race, how do you guys get this much speed with your satchel? I did the whole series with race, played over 100 games, but I still can't manage to get this much speed. So respect, dude. And about speed, something else that I can't manage to do on my own is jump from the box on icebox on screens. Did you know this was possible? Like, how do you do this? Anyway, let's fly to Pearl for an aggressive sage wall. When the round starts, walk towards middle, use your sage wall, and you can look all the way to Link. A very nice way to get an early kill. Just be careful. If you place your wall like this, the enemies can actually jump on your wall and go to art later on. So when using this trick, make sure to place your wall just in front of the pillar. Now, Enemies won't be able to jump on your wall and you can get an easy kill. Rest. Let's do another aggressive sage play. When the barriers are going down, walk forward and place your sage wall like this. If you leave a small gap on the right, it's perfect to hold with the shotgun. So just wait till the enemies are pushing you. But now, I hear some people saying, Mr. Lowlander, of course the enemies are not gonna push you. They know you're there, right? Well, out of experience, I've noticed that if the enemies know that you're on a certain spot, there's a high chance that they will be greedy and will push you. Especially in the lower ranks. So try it out so now and then. B. Also, boo jet, boo. Maybe in front of A. Hey, Same ID over here on Avon, you sneaky sage rats. Also, Astronym, you won the battle pass of this episode, so congrats. OG trick time, let's do some OG Viper tricks. Like this one, Viper wall on A, stand on screens, and a small sneaky red angle for you. Well played again, Blink Fox. Or this one, stand against the container, aim at the rope and throw your smoke. It will land on the edge of the grey container and you can hide inside your own smoke. Enemies might think it's a one way, but in fact a sneaky red play for you. And this is how you win eco rounds. Nice. Nice. Now look at this one, timing is everything my friends. Face your fear! Huh? Phoenix? Do people play this agent? Well, apparently they do. Here's a cool tricky. Stand in this corner and aim in that small gap of the cloud. Throw your molly and it will land on the orb and in the corner. So what you have to do is push, combine it with the flashbang and easy kills for you. And this is the end of the episode. Big thanks for everyone who submitted their tricks. Submit your place in the Discord server for a chance to win a battle pass and i see you guys in the next one. Peace.